Welcome to Tabletop Island, I'm Bernardo, your host, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing for the board game, The Shining by Prospero Hall. Oh man, I'm super excited for this. I'm going to be honest with you, I actually just recently watched the movie The Shining for the first time. I was very interested, especially when I heard this had a hidden traitor in it, and that the hidden traitor was kind of in lightweight, easier to comprehend, and the game is on the shorter side, like the game length which is super important because a lot of Hidden Trader games that I've found, uh, a lot of the ones I'm looking to play, are actually extremely long. But look at this art, man. The carpet from just like in the movie. Oh, man. Just look at some of these components on the box. It is such a clean design. And when I heard the peeps behind like Jaws, oh, man, the theme... How thematic Jaws was, I've jumped at the chin. All right, so we're getting into the all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. I promise you I won't read all of these, but pretty cool, guys. Pretty cool. I do like. Huh. All the instructions, which if they were anything like Jaws, should be immaculate some of the best instructions I've ever read in my life and I'm not that good with instructions so that says a lot oh uh, yeah let's keep it moving here oh man so we got some tile tokens I'm guessing they remain face down in the game and you reveal them somehow I don't really know much how the game plays yet but I will be playing this quite soon I've been preparing myself Ooh, I pop one out I don't want to pop it out just yet eh, if it stays out it's fine Ooh, just look at that. It's like a painting. Wow. They really spare no expense with how well designed everything is. Okay, I actually was thinking that it was going to be like a normal size board. So this is neat. Look at this. Interesting. So that has like a, a day, that has a night. So I'm guessing that's how it should be. Oh, and there's like a nice split. Man, this painting is nice. Definitely cool. I'm just gonna kind of peek at one of the sides again. So we have the different rooms just like in the movie. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I can't wait to learn this one. Then we have some little component pieces. Looks like we have a room number, 237, which if you've seen the movie, you'll understand why. Wow, that's some nice quality plastic. What else do we got in here? Looks like we got a dice with it laser printed on. Nice. It's like a little elevator, the axe. Is that like a bloody bat? Knife? Man. Look at that. Yeah, we have another laser cut dice. I didn't even notice it. It's a black dice. Looks like it has blood on it. Ooh. I'm really interested in seeing how this plays out because I've heard nothing but great things, so I jumped at the chance. And we have a key ring. Oh, this is neat. I'm guessing the key ring attaches to this. And maybe, I don't know what it will attach to it. Maybe cards? That would be weird. That'd be interesting. There's a random cube here. I'm guessing that's some hidden trader stuff. And these meeples. Plastic. Wow, these are nice. They're very lightweight. Unlike like some of the wooden ones you'll see, these are just really, I don't know, light. I don't know how important that is to people, but I did want to call attention to it. I got two light blue ones. I wonder if that's a, a normal thing. I don't know. Guess I'll find out. <laughs> I wonder if it'd be like the twin girls from the movie. Oh, that'd be creepy. Anyways, moving on. We have some cards here, some shining cards. Now, I'm not going to reveal too much. I mean, I, obviously, I, I want, if this is the kind of game for you, I want you to have this game. I'm guessing you're probably not going to look at an unboxing unless you planned on getting it. 
or maybe you just find unboxing soothing, or maybe you like my voice and you decided to subscribe because of it. Nah, you didn't do that. Definitely you didn't subscribe. That's cool. <laughs> so the card, sorry, I'm not the greatest unwrapper here. I'm kind of working at an angle, so let me kind of bring it around here for you. Look at that. See if we can get a little bit of more in focus here. There we go. Look at some of these cards. This art. See, those are the two little girls I was talking about. Creepy. I like that it's all like painted. It's so nice. Wow. Oh, and there's multiple, so I'm guessing that has something to do with it. Shinies. Cool. Yeah, I'm not going to show you like details as to what's written on them because again, I want you to, if this sounds like the kind of game for you, I want you to go out and experience it for yourself. I don't want any spoilers on the game in case there are any. Not too sure if there would be for a game like this, but you never know. It's like me spoiling the movie for you. Do you really need to know this? Sorry, I'm like on the edge of the camera here because opening this is extremely hard. And I'm too stubborn to get a knife and split this. Ooh, there's not that like, oh, there is that little I'm childproof lip here. Look at that. Ooh, nice. I like it when they make things easy. Cool. More on the back, and that's another cool thing. This game plays, what was it, five players? Three to five players, I love that. It's a good number. We got roll cards, we got event cards. I'll kind of pop through here. Get some cool, more of that really nice painting art. But again, I don't want you to see too much of these cards, um, so I'll kind of leave that up to you guys when you guys decide to if you decide this is the kind of game for you Ooh, it has these really nice lips here do you see this i wonder if the lips here are for the cards Ooh, that sounds like it'd be very helpful for the cards. there's two on each side let's try an experiment here this would be really nice if those perfectly cleared that and then the rest of these cards go to this side they're probably watching this and they're like what a dummy he found a use for our box that we didn't know no that actually looks like it's there on purpose if it's not then maybe i'm a genius or maybe they're just inherently creating very useful pieces to their games we love that yeah, I'm really interested in this key ring. I don't know what that's for. But honestly, that's the unboxing here. Um, again, if you are interested in notifications, there is a bell up there somewhere. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate any feedback. I'm trying to make these videos more and more outrageous, and with your guys' help, I have been doing so. Monday, regular board game reviews. Wednesday, weekly updates slash talk, and then on Fridays, my vintage board game reviews. That is all I have for you guys today. How? See you guys next time.